Life Seed is said to contain incredible or shattering power. While mostly written off as a myth, some archaeologists are still determined to track down the elusive item, luring some to incredibly remote locations. Look kind of cool. Kind of looks like a heart. like I missed you. I just wanted to wish you luck before you headed out. I still can't believe you're doing this. I mean, hunting down the, what was it? The life seed? You gotta admit, that sounds crazy. I mean, even if this mythological thing that can shatter worlds or whatever actually exists, what are the chances of you tracking down this ancient relic in the middle of the Rocky Mountains? Listen, I know you want to prove the thing exists. I, I get that. It's an adventure. Hell, it's your career, but can't you do something normal like the rest of us and just backpack Europe or something? Spend a month in Thailand? But hey, if by some miracle you find this thing and become the most famous archaeologist of all time, beers are on me. I'll even trade in your tinfoil hat for a whip and fedora. I just really hope all those canoeing lessons pay off.
With the power of the Leaf Suit, you will be able to perform unimaginable feats! Leaping high into the air! Sprinting as quickly as a cheetah! Even manipulating life and death itself are all part of the many stunts accomplished by the Leaf Suit. In addition to these marvelous wonders, an audio reel recorder built directly into the suit allows a Pathfinder to conveniently listen to important intelligence hands-free during training exercises. And don't forget to keep an ear out for new upgrades available for your suit, as our scientists continue looking for new ways to improve the fearsome might of the Leaf Suit. Good luck and safe journey as you test the limits of this amazing new technology. Virginia King, Audio Journal, June 4th, 1941. Shortly after the outbreak of war in Europe, I was enlisted by the army to study the history of this valley. The mysterious forest sprites seem to be the last living remnants of the long lost culture that once lived here. A large number of them seem to inhabit the northeast sector of the valley, just past the ruins where the life seed, rumored to possess an earth shattering power, was found. That's as good a place as any to study them. Huh. Okay, so we're looking for... Dig site.
be acorns, but once it do. calls this valley Area 634, but I've ascribed a new word for it, Curus. The beauty of that word seems to rival the majesty of this place. I suppose that would make its ancient inhabitants officially known as Sasurians. To think these ruins have existed here for so long, they predate any known civilization on the continent. They seem to have infused the life energy from trees into their infrastructure, but how? for me. The military is helping to explore all these ruins through the soldiers piloting leaf suits. They call these soldiers pathfinders as they can trek through terrain normally inaccessible to someone like me. Every guy back home is going to want to go joyriding in a leaf suit. But until the military's project comes to a close, we're cut off from any contact outside the valley. I guess the world will have to wait just a bit longer to get their hands on these rides.
just what are these glowing orbs that everyone is making a fuss over? They're absolutely beautiful. They seem to grow randomly throughout the valley. I know nothing about them other than that they are indigenous to this valley and that the army is using their energy for their war project. That's about as much as they'll tell me. <sighs> it's such a shame. I wish they would just let them be. But, I suppose it's the whole reason we're here to begin with. to me that the natives of the valley worshipped the giant tree here almost as a deity. Great lengths were taken to construct obelisks around this tree, which the ancients used to help grow it. I've begun to use the term titan tree to designate this species. According to my interpretations, once every thousand years the titan tree will produce the mythological and famed life seed said to possess the power to shatter the world into fragments. No wonder the military is so interested in this place.
question is, do I just have to have them? of this valley, which I've come to call daemons, are so lively. I've done my best to study their behaviors, but without a zoologist on site, I'm mostly coming up dry. They're completely harmless, so the army tends to ignore them as they go about their research. I wonder if the world would clamor to have these daemons as pets. I'm sure my mother could use one. It's better than all those feral cats in her backyard anyways. Shit, I might have fucked up. Legend, the life seed is said to be a bringer of death on a global scale, splintering the earth into fragments. Such end time scenarios are common across mythologies, from the apocalypse to Ragnarok. However, it's unusual for the event to surround a particular object, especially one acquired by mortals.
origin of this valley's inhabitants continues to elude me. They seem to have coexisted with the mysterious forest sprites. I find loose hints of Mesoamerican civilizations such as the Olmec, with their renowned colossal headstone sculptures dating back to 900 BC. Strangely, though, the Olmec civilization was much younger and located no less than 5,000 kilometers away from here. stuff I can bring back to life, we can bring that valley health back up. take hold so far north. The land here isn't arable, yet the population that lived here was clearly sedentary in nature. This leads me to believe this place was used as a sacred ground. Are these monuments to the mythical cannibal giants of native lore? The Sai Teka? should allow a Pathfinder to jump twice in sequence through the air, increasing the height and distance of their leap drastically. Report any defects to a commanding officer immediately.
rarely a life seed is produced. I was so excited when I discovered there was one found in the valley. Apparently the military was just as excited as they immediately confiscated it to study at the Soma facility on the mountaintop. They won't let me anywhere near it. could do without in this valley. It's those damn Amrita swarms that seem to infect this place. They aren't so bad when they're calm, but when they're starved of Amrita energy, they become incredibly aggressive, sending waves of drones toward intruders in suicidal attacks. They seem to be becoming angrier the longer we're here.
place was discovered back in 1811 by a surveyor seeking to map this remote region. No one believed what he reportedly saw. Due to the sheer remoteness of this region, his story was written off as the senile delusions of an old man, and his tale was soon forgotten. It was not until recently that the government was approached by a scientist named Andrew Fisher to use this location as an alternative energy project of some sort. How he came to discover this place is beyond me.
Viper coil upgrade to the leaf suit allows Pathfinders to grapple onto certain target points within a limited range, allowing them to reach areas where jumps prove insufficient. For testing purposes, the Viper coil is currently limited to particular targets.
evaluation policy in effect. I've often found myself in the company of a Pathfinder named Edwin Hall. The things he can do in a leaf suit are astounding. Some nights we'll head to the rooftop above my office and watch the auroras. I have no idea what he could possibly see in me, though. I tend to ramble a lot. I mean, who wouldn't find Mesoamerican calendrical systems anything other than fascinating? Guys love that stuff, right? <laughs>
way not to get in there. I appreciate being brought in to study the valley. I wish the military's presence here wasn't so domineering. I can't say these giant structures add much to the view. It would be nice if this was simply a place of study and conservation. I'm doing my best to steer the army away from the ruins, but the only thing that seems to concern them is their project. Gathering up as many of these strange orbs as they possibly can. September 17th, 1942. My name is Andrew Fisher, leading physicist and head of Project Pendulum. Pendulum is the research and development project directed by the Army Corps of Engineers to produce a weapon of mass destruction that can bring an end to the war through the unconditional surrender of our enemies. In response to the spy-ridden efforts of the Manhattan Project, headed by my cohort, Robert Oppenheimer, Pendulum has been founded under the utmost secrecy. Funds, pride, and soldiers' lives are all on the line in a race to win the war. 
thus giving rise to the name Pendulum. Nazi and Soviet espionage. Pendulum's location and purpose is unknown to the outside world. Taking a cue from the Manhattan Project, only a small few know of Pendulum's purpose, operating under the guise of an alternative energy project. As it came to light that Manhattan had been plagued with espionage, it was agreed upon to shroud Pendulum within the government itself. All those who knew of Pendulum's true intent are here. Though admittedly extreme, we can ensure an ironclad umbrella of secrecy. Information can only come in, and none can go out. As far as anyone outside this valley knows, Pendulum does not exist. This valley does not exist. Never did figure out. How do you get that? Gotta be away. But never. Mind. doing that in these areas. Explore. 
floor in an abandoned facility. And yeah, okay, the... Schrodinger's cat. This is beyond my wildest imagination. As a result of the reaction between the Amrita energy and the Pathfinder's own life force, they experience what I have dubbed quantum death. When a Pathfinder dies while wearing the suit, their consciousness branches into a new reality, unharmed. They achieve quantum immortality. Seed, housed within a reactor found deep underground beneath the Soma facility. 
By harvesting the high energy yield orbs found within the valley, we pass their energy through the life seed, which acts as a sort of amplifier, magnifying the energy to unprecedented levels. The explosives we create here will dwarf anything the Manhattan Project could ever possibly fathom. <laughs> Natural life here seems to be slowly dwindling. Edwin thinks I'm crazy, but I see it becoming quieter. Are we gradually killing this place? That self-righteous anthropologist is stirring up trouble again. Her moral objections to this project are the last thing I need on my mind. If it weren't for the isolation policy, I'd have her removed from the premises and sent back home.
Gallop's bushrod pistons will allow Pathfinders to achieve an unprecedented velocity. By energizing the tunnel rails, the leaf suit should conduct enough energy to reach immense speeds.
was a surefire success. The explosion yielded 20 kilotons of TNT energy. I know I can outmatch this with greater efficiency. The time is running out. I am ordering a 300% increase in production to meet quotas for a megaton blast yield, produced in three days' time. But of course, our trump card lies in the Thanatos cannon prototype under development. Its power, unlike anything Oppenheimer could possibly fathom. With this technology, we'll become the closest thing to gods the world has ever seen! through the Soma reactor to be amplified and returned to Astra for weapon creation. The two facilities are interdependent on each other, like yin and yang, to maintain a balance.
gonna take a real fast intermission. Pee break. As a precaution, we cannot allow Astra to operate without a link to Soma. Otherwise, it will pull energy indiscriminately until it has robbed life from the entire valley or even the entire planet. There should be enough energy within Soma's auxiliary reserves to sustain the link for years. However, if the link to Soma is ever disrupted, Astra will need to be shut down immediately. they're demanding from the valley is far outpacing whatever can be produced from the orbs. It's killing this place. And we'll lose it forever if we don't do something. Edwin may try to stop me. I'll no doubt be charged with some treason if I'm caught. Maybe even executed. But this is larger than me. This valley... It could very well change the world. I have to save it before it's lost forever.
in here. Edwin's reluctantly agreed to help. If only to make sure nothing happens to me. One of his squad mates mentioned to him a weapon being built at Astra. Some sort of cannon. We should be able to use it to destroy Astra beyond reparation. Enough to shut down this project. Unfortunately, everyone is working round the clock with the increase in production, so... We'll need to pull an alarm to get everyone out. We can then sneak into Astra through the underground tram tunnel that connects the two sites. No one should get hurt. Or hopefully caught. To whomever may find this recording, please understand that Fisher has strayed beyond reason. If we don't put a stop to this madness, they could destroy this valley. And with power like this, maybe even the world. If we failed, please do whatever it takes to stop them before it's too late. our operations at Area 634. The report indicates a soldier from the Pathfinder Division may have committed himself to treason by planning to use the Thanatos cannon prototype being developed at Astra to destroy the reactor. The report came from a colleague of the alleged perpetrator, suspecting him as a potential Soviet operative. Since we only have one man's word to go on, we will need to catch him and any other accomplice in the act. As such, guards will be posted discreetly. At Astra, nothing will intervene with Pendulum's completion!
so they got caught apparently. loading dock connecting to the tram tunnel. It should prove an ample testing ground for this latest upgrade. Report back by the end of the day tomorrow.
In response to the recent sabotage attempt and arrest of the culprits, I am ordering all Pathfinder operations to be suspended and all leaf suits to be locked away until project completion. The suits are too powerful to fall into the wrong hands. Additionally, I am requesting all evidence of the sabotage attempt, including private first class Edwin Hall's own leaf suit and Miss King's recordings, to be gathered and sent to storage until a proper military tribunal can take place. Until then, all suspects will remain in detention. With the recent increase in production, it should not be long.
why it wouldn't let me pick that one up.
bothers me.
April 24th, 1943. What is the significance behind these colossal statues found throughout the valley? I find they all look so very voracious. I keep returning to the idea of the mythical Sai Te Ka, the legendary tribe of cannibalistic giants that roamed North America and came into conflict with the aboriginals. But why would they be worshipped here? There must be something else to it. Virginia King, May 19, 1943. The Sasaurians, much like other indigenous peoples, seem to hold strong cultural value in legendary creatures, the most notable one being the creature depicted on all these doorways. It resembles the mythological Wendigo, a fierce creature with an insatiable desire to consume flesh. The creature is most often linked with both greed and famine, acting as a balance of nature. Why would this creature hold such a strong cultural significance to them?
pyramid built by the Sasaurians served as a ceremonial structure exalting the Colossi. Along with the Titan Tree and Daemon, they intertwined to form a mythology. From what I gathered, the Colossi were once humans who feasted upon the forbidden fruit, corrupting them into giant monstrosities, cannibalizing their fellow man and devouring all life within the valley. Is this a tale of caution? Are the Sasurians warning us against abusing the power of the life seeds?
squad with testing out the lake skipper upgrade for the leaf suit. The lake near the Astra facility should prove ideal for the assessment. I expect a full report on my desk as soon as testing is complete. Oh, that's fucking beautiful.
imagine a weapon of mass destruction without the structural damage incurred. By extrapolating the mechanics of the Leaf Suit's God Hand to a larger scale, I have devised a weapon capable of stripping all life from cities, even entire nations when used with the Life Seed. The Thanatos Cannon will be the optimal super weapon, rendering all others obsolete. These bombs we're all competing to produce will look paltry in comparison.
change the course of human history. Whoever holds this technology holds the world in their hands. Remember what I accomplished. power of Thanatos and the Brahmastra bomb. The power to control the world will lie within the hands of a small few. Every nation on Earth will tremble. Uh. That was it. That was the whole game. I guess that was it. Three hours. Wow, okay, but I know I didn't get everything. I don't want to load that. Okay, so. Anyway, that was the valley. That was the whole game. Thank you for watching. Appreciate it, and we'll catch you on the next.